And then you should also be able to graph y equals 2 times the natural log of x. And uh, just a quick graph by plotting points. You could convert to exponential form, but it doesn't do you a whole lot of good to do that because you're just going to get uh, e to some power, and you're going to have to use the calculator anyway. So let's just use the calculator to help us graph this thing. So what kind of inputs do you want for x? Are you allowed to go 0 or negative for log functions? The domain of any log function, you're you're not allowed to plug in uh, a negative number or a negative that ends up being ne or a number that ends up being negative or zero. So you can't plug in x equals zero; it's undefined. Can't plug in like negative point two. Any negative number is undefined. So what do you want to start with then for your inputs? One would be a good start, um, but we should probably plug in a fractional, a proper fraction. So like maybe 0.5. And then two, maybe three. And let's see what we get. We're going to use the ln button again, but you don't have to take the second function of it. So we're going to plug in 0.5. So go, uh, oh, you have to plug in two first because that's a factor in front. Two times natural log of 0.5. It's just plugging and chugging into your calculator. Uh, we'll go to negative 1.4. We'll go to one place past the decimal. Anybody know what you get if you plug in 1 into any logarithmic function? You get 0. The natural log or log base A of 1 is equal to 0. And then uh, if you plug in uh, 2, OK, you could just hit second function, enter, and replace. Let me get the big screen up. And you could replace the 0.5 with 2. About positive 1.38. Oh, so 1.4. And then uh, you could go ahead and hit second function, enter, and replace the 2 with the 3. Looks like you get about 2.2, approximately, if you round. And then, again, it's just plotting points, knowing where the asymptote is, drawing a smooth curve, and you're, you're done. So uh, I'm going to start with 1, 0. It's a good kind of base, home, home base to start with. And then at 0 0.5, it's down at negative 1.4. 0 0.5, negative, I don't know, 0 0.4, right about there. And then at 2, 1.4, right about there, maybe. And then at 3, 2.2. So 1, 2, 3, 1, 2.2. OK, which axis is it never going to cross for a logarithm? The y-axis is the asymptote. What's the equation of the y-axis? It's a vertical line, so all the x values stay at 0. So x equals 0. And then just draw it so that as it goes to the left, it looks like it doesn't cross the y-axis, and as it goes to the right, it increases, levels out, starts to level out a little bit, but it's still, it's, it's, it's basically increasing. There you go. So this guy is the asymptote here. It's called a vertical asymptote because it's a vertical line. Of course, your calculator is better at graphing it than you are. So what you could do to get a picture on your calculator, you know you can go to y equals, erase what's there, and then uh, 2 ln x. Let's graph it in the standard screen, zoom number 6. And OK, basically the, the same picture. Now, you do have to be, it graphs more of it, and you can see it levels out a little bit. You do have to be careful. It looks like the graph stops here, does it? No, it's just your calculator doesn't have enough resolution to keep drawing it getting closer and closer to the y-axis. So uh, what's happening is the graph actually shoots downward to negative infinity. I stopped it here too, but I put the arrow in to indicate it just keeps going down and keeps getting closer and closer 
to that y-axis asymptote, but never actually gets there. What would the domain then be of this function? So it would go um, from zero to positive infinity, left to right. Everybody agree with that? That'd be the domain, D for domain, and then what would the range be? It goes all the way down and all the way up. So negative infinity to positive infinity. 